Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 143, that we have made you an ummat e wasth a middlemost community, a justly balanced community, so that you may be a witness over the nations and the messenger will be witness over you. Since the messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the last and final messenger, gave us Muslims the message and we accepted it, now it's our job, it's our duty that we should convey to the rest of the world. During the last, about the last pilgrimage of Hajjat al Vida, the beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, asked the Sahabas, there were 124,000 Sahabas, he asked them, did I deliver the message to you? And all of them said, yes, Beishak, you delivered the message to us. The Prophet said, all those who are present here, deliver to those who are not present here. It's our duty to convey the message of Islam to those who are unaware of it. I would like to ask you a simple question. One day, suppose you go out of your house to the office and your neighbor, without any reason, he abuses your mother. He uses foul language against your mother. When you come back home in the evening and you come to know that your neighbor, he has abused your mother, used foul language against your mother, what will you do? When you get back home and you come to know that your neighbor, without any reason, without any cause, he is using foul language against your mother, he is abusing your mother, calling her with bad names. When you get back home, what will you do? Hit him. What will you do? What will you do? Fight him. What will you do? If your neighbor abuses your mother without any reason, uses foul language against your mother, when you get back home, what will you do? Kill him. Fight him. Break his neck. Someone is saying we should fight him. We should kill him. We should break his neck. We should hit him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in the Quran, in Surah Maryam, chapter number 19, verse number 88 to 92. They, the Christian, they are using foul language against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They say Allah has begotten a son. It is the biggest abuse you can give to Allah. It is the most heinous thing you can say to Allah. Allah is saying in Surah Maryam chapter number 19, verse number 88 to 92, that they, the non-Muslims, the Christians, the other non-Muslims, they are saying that Allah has begotten a son. It is the most heinous thing you can say to Allah. If the sky had feelings, the sky would have burst open. The earth would have split asunder. The mountains would have fallen down to utter ruin. Allah says that if anyone says Allah has begotten a son, it is the biggest abuse you can give to Allah. If the sky had feelings, the sky would have burst open. The earth would have split asunder. The mountains would have fallen down to utter ruin. But to us Muslim, nothing is happening. We are sitting on our backside doing nothing. Every day our non-Muslim friends, our non-Muslim colleagues, our non-Muslim people at work, our Christian brothers and sisters, our Hindu brothers and sisters, they are saying Allah has begotten a son and we can't even open our mouth. When someone abuses my mother, I want to fight him, I want to hit him, I want to kill him. Every day our non-Muslim friends, our non-Muslim neighbors, our non-Muslim colleagues, our non-Muslim people at work, our Christian brothers and sisters, our Hindu brothers and sisters, they are abusing Allah and they are saying Allah has begotten a son. And we don't even open our mouth. What are you afraid of? We say we love Allah more than our mother, more than our father. Someone abuses our mother, you want to fight him, you want to hit him, you want to kill him. Our non-Muslim friends every day they are abusing Allah. I am not telling you fight them. I am not telling you hit them. I am not telling you kill them. That's not allowed in Islam. I am only telling open your mouth. Most of us Muslims are sitting on our backside doing nothing. What has happened to us? What has happened to this Ummah? 
we say we love allah more than anyone in the world more than everyone in the world more than our children more than our mother more than our father it is only lip service name sake wallahi if we love allah more than our mother more than our father more than ourselves we will not sit on our backside doing nothing at least open your mouth at least deliver the message what are we afraid of Allah is crying in the Quran they are saying ar rahman has begotten a son laqad jitum shayyan idda indeed you have given the biggest abuse to Allah it is the most heinous thing you can say if the sky had fell in the sky would have burst open the earth would have split asunder the mountain would have fallen down to utter ruin we say that mountain is the strongest thing if it had feelings and if it came to know that someone has said that allah has begotten a son the mountain would have fallen down to utter ruin but we muslims we are more harder than the rock we are more harder than the mountain nothing is happening to our heart it's a shame we are afraid If I do dawa my non muslim friend will become upset they are more interested in keeping the friendship of their friend than the friendship of Allah subhanahu wa taala you have a misconception actually when you do dawa your non muslim friend will respect you more when i did dawa anywhere in the world the non muslim respect me in india and whenever i travel the non muslim respect me more when i go to the shop oh dr zakir like okay we will not take money from you when i'm going through the custom dr zakir like whatever we say he says that so we cannot check his bags we are not doing for discount we are doing for freebies we are doing for allah they respect me so much that the population of hindu started loving me the government got scared My Prime Minister of India Modi he got scared This man is getting very popular being a Muslim when we give lectures in India 100000 200000 500000 1 million people live 1 million people live not on the social media not on the television live And when we give a talk in India about 20% or 25% are non muslim when 100000 come to listen to my talk 20 to 25000 are non muslim when 1 million people come 200 to 250000 are non muslim imagine 200000 non muslim coming live in india in nigeria we can't even imagine why that means the non muslims in india love me more than the muslims in nigeria the hindu tells me in 40 years of in the question and answer session in 40 years of my life i did not know about my religion what i learned in 2 hours with dr zakir next speech when non muslims started accepting islam my prime minister modi his vote bank was getting disrupted so what does he do he lays an allegation dr zakir naik is a terrorist this is the power of dawa the people love the prophet when the prophet did dawa even his enemies they said he was alamin when they went outside the town they used to give their wealth with the prophet even though they were against him this man he will not cheat we muslim should be following the footsteps of the prophet and the sahabas believe me whenever i go in other parts of the world when i travel in the western countries when i went to uk to other parts again 25000 people coming when the crowd gets large the government gets a bit scared the non muslim government so we are going by air on satellite we are going by social media and believe me whenever i meet non muslim most of them not 100% but more than 95% the non muslim they have seen my lectures they respect me they love me and many of them they accept the truth of islam it is the politicians who say okay now is getting popular we we'll lose our vote bank so even in malaysia the people who are against me are the politicians therefore i suit the politicians in malaysia the hindus in malaysia they love me when i go to a doctor He turns out to be Hindu. Oh, Doctor Zakir Naik, how can I charge from you? I see your videos on YouTube. 
it is the politicians in India and the politicians, non-Muslims in Malaysia who have a problem with me. Because they cannot face the truth. For the vote bank, they have to malign so that they get vote bank. And now, Ramaswamy cannot afford to give me 1.52 million ringgit. I cannot. He's doing crowdfunding. Crowdfunding. Imagine with that 1.52 million ringgit, 320,000 dollars, 383 million naira, naira, if he gives to the poor Indians in Malaysia, it will be benefit. With this money, help the poor Indians in Malaysia. Why do you want to give to Ramaswamy? He made a mistake. I have nothing against Dr. Zakir Naik. I did it for the public. Who told you to do it? Laying allegations against me, calling me a Satan, calling me a terrorist. The judge gave him a fine. And now, he's going begging for money. If you made a mistake, you should pay. Why are you asking the other Hindus to pay for you? I would want this money collected by him should be given to the poor Indians to uplift them in Malaysia. Not for the... If you made a mistake, you pay from your wealth. So we have a misconception that if you do dawa, you will lose your friendship. You lose your business. You lose your house. And even if you do, what is a better way than to give it in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What is better than that? Allah will give you 700 times. And when my Prime Minister Modi, when he laid allegation, I had to do hijrah. In 2016, seven years back, I did hijrah from India to Malaysia. And all my property, all my wealth, big amount, all sacrificed in the way of Allah. My family members did not even bat an eyelid. They did not even frown. Imagine all this wealth has been taken by the kafir because I'm a dai. What better, better business deal is this? Imagine sometime earthquake comes, your house is gone. You do business, you lose money in business. This, all my wealth, my house is gone to the kafir because I'm a dai. In the way of Allah, what better business deal is this? Every night I used to pray in India that, Oh my Lord, Ya Allah, let my life and my wealth be sacrificed for you. Allah heard half my dua. My wealth is gone for the way of Allah. Now I'm waiting for the second half of the dua. Even in my life, I pray that may I be murdered in the way of Allah.